guys, how are you? I, I sound like a girl. Yay! <laughs> so, how are you? Okay. Right. You have problems, you need help, and I will help you by giving you a tree, and your tree will look after you, and this the tree will be happy for you, and then you can go more, more, more. Okay? I've dyed my hair again. It's kind of greeny, but you can't really see it, and it's like... But, yeah, it's kind of greeny. If you um, follow me on Twitter, which you can do down below, or if you go onto my new Facebook page thingy, which you should like, you should really like it, because then you can find out when I upload a new video, and blah de blah de blah All businessy stuff. Businessy stuff that Lauren doesn't understand, because she's not, business she's not a businessy person. She's a creative person who gets to go on trips pretty much every week. Yeah. So I thought I'd talk to you today about something that's basically I just thought I'd talk to you about past Lauren. <sighs> Lauren from the past is quite cringy. Um the amount of stupid things I've done and the amount of weird things I've done is kind of weird. <laughs> it's just weird. I'm just ugh. but you can probably tell that. You can probably tell I'm a weird person. Weird. But yeah. So, I thought I would talk to you today <laughs> about the time I had an imaginary friend. So, you see, when I was younger, I wasn't very imaginative. <laughs> so, me having an imaginary friend was kind of pointless. But that didn't stop young Lauren. I don't know how old I was. I think I was about six or seven. That sounds like about the right age, about that time. And I thought having an imaginary friend would be awesome. But, of course, not so imaginative Lauren thought, hmm, I want an imaginary friend. What can I call them? Imaginary friend. Yeah, imaginary friend. I don't know why, I, I don't even know what was going through six-year-old Lauren's like, like brain at that time. She was probably sitting there going, hmm. But all I know is the only time I had an imaginary friend called imaginary friend was when we were in the shop and I wanted sweets. <laughs> and my idea was basically to get choose my own sweets and then turn around to my mum and go, Mum, can I have some sweets from my imaginary friend, imaginary friend? And she'd be like, wait, what? And I'll go, my imaginary friend. And then she'd go, wait, so what did you call him again? Just so I'm clear. And I went, imaginary friend. Yep. I'm so weird. There's something wrong with me. I mean, that's just like the first part of Lauren's life and she's already confused the hell out of her mum. Doing well. But yeah, it's kind of weird because thinking about it now, I was kind of like, whoa. I really found this out because my mum was talking about it the other day and she made a joke about it and it kind of, I didn't understand until she explained it to me. So it was just one of those things where I was like, did I seriously do that? And it's kind of embarrassing. But it's also kind of weird because I don't know what was going through my mind. I mean, what did they look like? What did? Why was their name Imaginary Friend? They could have been some kind of demon. All I demon. 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 They could have been some kind of demon for all I knew. And could have eaten my soul. I mean, like, think about it. <laughs> That's alien. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> but yeah, so six forms been good. <laughs> That's probably why I've not been uploading so much. Stress. Ah, uh, I also left my art book on the bus. That's another story for another time. Why do I do so much stupid stuff with my life? I'm like a fail. I'm just a massive fail. Should we just class myself as a fail now? Or, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, tell me, did you do anything stupid as a kid growing up? I mean, it's just weird stuff. I mean, having an imaginary friend called imaginary friend is pretty weird. I mean, it could have been worse. But I'm not sure how long I stuck it out for. I mean, I think, I've got a feeling it was one of them things where it was just like, the one day I was like, I've got an imaginary friend now. <laughs> so I can get more sweets and I can just eat them myself. Because Lauren is a sweeterholic. But yeah, my life's been alright. I'm going Bryce in a couple of weeks. Yay, Bryce and dance! <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited and I'm going to pay for it. I'm paying for most of it myself, which is just like, Whoa, grown up stuff. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it and I feel grown up. But I don't want to be a grown up. I'm going to be a child forever. I'm actually secretly five. Five. 
That's six. I don't know how to count. Okay, then I'm gonna go now. So remember, please check out my stuff down below in the description thingy. If you do, I will send you pandas, and pandas are nice because if you like pandas, then pandas. Or llamas. Do you want a llama? We can make a deal. We can make a bet. This is like some secret stuff. Let's talk to you. Let's talk to you. We could actually make a deal. We could have llamas. Real life llamas. Right. All you've got to do is subscribe to Lauren. Me. Me. If you if like, hi, I'm Lauren. But you can call me Charmander because you guys are my Charmanders. <laughs> so, yeah. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below what you did as a weird kid. If you were a weird kid. I'm hoping you're a weird kid. That will give me hope in life. And also please remember to check out my Facebook and Twitter. And to like, do all that stuff. Because if you don't, the leprechauns will eat me. And I really don't want to get eaten by leprechauns. Because they're going to kill me. And I don't want to do that. Okay? Okay. Goodbye. See you next week. Peace out, Charmanders. <laughs> that was that, that was weird.